Y'all, what's up? This is Jason. Got us another video here for a uh, Chevrolet Impala. It's a 2006, and uh, we're going to check out the headlight. Okay, so I know that my wife's car has a headlight out, but I forgot which one it was, and I just wanted to make sure. So, with the car off, I'll come in here. For those that you don't know, for those of you who don't know, and we're gonna turn this. Right now it's in auto, that's where you leave it all the time. We're gonna turn it to here, that way your headlights are on. Okay. Around the front, we see this one is on the driver's side. And this one is not. So we know it's this outer bulb, okay? So this is an easy job. Cut this back to auto. That way that automatically come on when it gets dark. You know what I mean? So pull this and I'll pop the hood and we'll I'll go get some more tools. Fortunately I already have another headlight bulb. I'll show it to you also. Okay, so the deal with this is going to be we're gonna have to take out one screw. This one screw here and it's got a hex head on it. See if I can turn it so you can see it. It's this one right here. And this plastic thing right here also holds it in place. And all you're gonna do is pull up on it. And you gotta be careful of these because these get kind of brittle. So you see I've got this slot in it right here. You pull up on it until it gets to that slot and then you move it over this way and you can take it right out and just kind of lay it over to the side um, somewhere out of the way so you don't step on it or it doesn't fall under the car or whatever. And this takes the H11. And there's different grades of H11. I usually get the mid-range. Um, look, you can spend as little on something as you want or you can spend as much on something as you want. I try to get, you know, this is kind of the mid-range. Um, I get these at AutoZone. You can get them at many more places, maybe in some different brands, but I've, I've typically got the Sylvania at AutoZone. Uh, no particular reason other than hey, it's close to a red light and it's easy to get in and out of. Uh, there's a O'Reilly's right down the road and I pass by Walmart every day. So I've never tried to get bulbs at Walmart, so I don't I don't know what, the, what kind of selection they have. Um, so I gotta go gotta go get my sockets so I can get that out. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I've got a where's that? Seven millimeter. That fits this. Okay. That out. Lift it off to the side. Take this. Pull it up. You see, it just comes right off. I did that so fast, I um, didn't even slow down to show you. All right, I'm gonna set that out of the way. Now, this, there is like a metal thing that comes out of the back of this, kind of goes into a little socket up here. So you kind of got to wiggle on this thing just right. There we go. Right. So what we're gonna do, this, this thing right here, it twists off. Just twist it counterclockwise. It's like a little cap. And then the bulb is up in there and we'll change the bulb out. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so you see what it did. I took the uh, took the light. Unfortunately, sitting it face down. Now I'm, I am trying to video this, so it does make things a little bit more difficult for me. Take this, turn that. Take this off. Okay, so this. 
bugs keep on trying to get on me. So there's two different ways you could do this. Uh, obviously, you could probably try and twist this out of place. But what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and take the connector off of it. Um, I may need to get a little wrench, I mean a little screwdriver or something to try and prise these back off those two little notches that they clip onto. Let me try that with a little screwdriver. Okay. I use this small screwdriver and uh, stuck it under the edge here and the edge here and kind of wiggle on it. Should be able to get it. You gotta be careful with this old plastic in these things so you don't break them. See, it's out of there. Okay. Now this, it just twists, okay? And comes out. little see it's burning two in there I'm gonna we'll take another one I'm gonna stick it in this place and twist it in well I told you it was burning two but on further inspection off camera I don't see anything that is burning two so I hope it doesn't get down to a wiring issue or I don't think that I put this one in because I usually put the ones with the blue ring on them so it may just be an old light uh, let's hope it is um, I'm going to put another one in there, and what I'll do is, before I put it all back together, I'll go ahead and cut the headlights on so I can check it. Okay, we're back. Let's see. I'm going to put this bulb in. These wires are all in the way. So, it's in place. Now I gotta take this and try to convince this thing to go in here. There we go, it's plugged up. So, Make sure this thing works. Being that I didn't see anything wrong with the other bulb that was in there, but it was an old bulb because I know it had put it in there. I'm come back in here. I'm gonna cut this on. And look what we got. We got a headlight that works. Okay, so that's what we needed, and I'm gonna go back in there and cut it back off. So. Put this, okay, let's get this thing put back together. So, I'm gonna take this cap. See, it's got a couple of notches here. It's got matching notches here. So, it's gonna go right in place. Turn it clockwise. We're done with that. So, the fun part is gonna be, let's see. See that pocket right there? This metal thing goes into that pocket. These are the notches that that plastic thing went around. So everything's got to get right back in place. Like this. Try my patience trying to do it 
on the phone. It's not showing you anything. Okay, look. Look, y'all. This is a real pain in the butt to get back in. It's not the end of the world. I've done it many times. But I'm not going to do it on the phone this time. Okay? So there's a hole. This needs to line up, and usually what I have to do is I have to kind of um, push this forward some. Where's the? Yeah, push this forward some to get it to match up. just like this and push down there we go that's all the headlights in place I'm gonna check it one more time just because I'm funny okay now it's in place Signal light. Headlight. Boom. And what did we use? We used Silver Star H11 by Sylvania and a bottom and AutoZone. Okay? Easy install. I did it practically one handed. Ladies and gents, you can handle that. Change your headlight out. Don't pay somebody else to do it. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And I uh, hope y'all have a great day. And uh, y'all have a good rest of the week. Later, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.